Okay, Gateway brought their fiber optic cable through the wall and it's right there. It's running parallel to the Spectrum Charter line. This is over a ways from my water line. My water valve is right there, I think. You probably don't remember seeing that on the outside of the house. Anyway, it is paralleled, paralleled and stapled it to the underside of my joist, parallel to the uh, Spectrum large white coax cable. Runs along this front wall of my basement. around the corner. This is a workshop I have in here. And then over the top of a former panel that the previous owner installed. It's pretty elaborate. Quick network it's called. As before they had Wi-Fi and he cabled every room. Anyway, it's coming down here. And you see the vast difference in size to the fiber optic cable versus the coax. And then this is their modem. It shows power, broadband, service. Ethernet and then phone, which I do not have. So then it comes out here. This is the power power line. I've got it plugged into a surge protector, and then there's a coax cable that goes in to this box, and then it goes into the line that exits into my office upstairs where my router is. So I uh, did speed tests with the gateway modem in hooked to my router and determined that I could get no more than 100 megabytes per second. Now it was still better because I was getting 100 megabytes per second upload speeds also. Whereas with Spectrum, I was getting 70s, 80s, sometimes 90s download, but never more than about 10 or 11 upload. So it was better, but anyway, so that didn't seem right. So I got to checking um, this cable that is going into this uh, box that distributes throughout the house and determined it's a Cat5 cable and after researching I found, I found out that a Cat5 will only let about 100 megabytes per second of um, transfer through it and so I went to Walmart and for about seven dollars I got a a new cable it's cat six and so instead of buying more than seven feet which would probably be pretty expensive to run it all the way upstairs I um, decided to move my router down here this is a temporary setup just on a little workbench and I connected the seven feet of cat six cable to the router here and the difference was mind-blowing what what you would expect and I'll show you those numbers next from a speed test I did 
having my computer here near the router, I'm getting close to the 250 megabytes per second that I'm paying for through Gateway. And then upstairs uh, on the first floor, this is a single story house. Uh, and I've got the router in the lower level, the walkout level. So uh, in the upper level, I'm getting in the 200s, which is more of what I would expect. I'll show you those speeds next.